So hello everyone, it is your girl JL Beauty 87 here aka Grace and today we're going to get into the new ABH Magic Touch Concealer and the somewhat new ABH Bronzer. Now, I went back and forth on getting the bronzer for a while, I was trying to decide if I wanted to get it or not. I ended up um, getting it because uh, I was getting the concealer anyway and I figured we could just try them together. So I have the shade 17 in the concealer and in the bronzer I bought the shade Chestnut. I don't know if you all watched my IG um, story earlier today when i went to the store and initially got this stuff that was about like an hour ago um on this lovely thursday but the eight the concealer retails for 29 dollars and the bronzer is 35 i bought both mine at macy's though so shout out to my girl beauty deals bff as usual i keep telling y'all to follow amy on instagram under the account beauty deals bff because i got this brand new concealer for 15 percent off and i got the bronzer for 15 percent off so it ended up being like 60 bucks so I saved like five, ten bucks and then I went to Macy's to pick it up and shout out to her again because I didn't even know Macy's had this concealer or else y'all might have got this video today instead of, um, you know, tomorrow because I didn't know that they had it. But anyway, I got a couple other things I'm going to try out. I might try out these Milani matte lipsticks. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to try out this um, Wet n Wild Impossible Priming Base. I heard it's supposed to be really um, similar to the um, Tarte, what is it, the Clean Slate one and two before they change the formula on it so i want to see about that so that's why i don't have on my foundation like i normally would since we still be focusing on the concealer but i want to try this primer anyway let's get into the concealer so this abh magic touch concealer retails for 29 dollars. i have the shade 17 which is medium to tan skin with cool undertone now if you all remember when it came to the foundation the cool undertones actually worked for people like me who had gold and warm undertones which i didn't understand because i'm like if y'all do makeup artists stuff you know like the difference between cool and warm but i remember jackie um talking about this too and how you know the colors were like off and all that which i think is one of the reasons i didn't like the foundation so i actually ended up returning mine but andre renee and i bought the shade 470c when we was according to jackie we were supposed to have the shade 500c so it's on sale during 21 days of beauty this um fall i might go ahead and pick it up and try it again i don't know we'll see but like i said let's get into the concealer instead of me constantly talking about other things it is a medium to full coverage creamy and lightweight formula that corrects brightens blurs and conceals while blending to a natural second skin finish the coverage is medium the finish is natural the formulation obviously is liquid it says it's medium to f um full coverage cream and lightweight formula corrects it blurs and conceals while blending to natural second skin finish it helps to hydrate the delicate under eye area and provide smooth creases and comfortable wear without oxidizing or settling into fine lines the amino acids coat pigments ensure immediate adhesion and easy blendability while light reflecting ingredients neutralizing perfections for a soft focus effect so that's what's supposed to be going on with this concealer um let me read into the bronzer now i was gonna um order these from sephora but um i didn't order them before i went to go check all the deals that beauty deals bff had put up so i guess i ended up being blessed enough to get this today instead of having to wait till like the weekend and get it and y'all see it like thursday or something but this bronzer is a cream bronzer that warms up skin for sun-kissed dimensional color while also creating contour and sculpting definition. The finish is matte, the formulation is cream. It says cream bronzer creates natural warmth, melting effortlessly into a matte second skin seamless finish with comfortable wearability. It grips the skin with a flexible hold that doesn't streak, patch, oxidize, or smudge the complexion layers underneath. It easily builds from soft to bold definition. They're really about this oxidizing thing. But I guess because so many other people's products oxidize, they want to make sure you know that theirs no. But it's like, y'all got the weirdest color. So it's like, I don't really care about the oxidation. Although I probably should because you already got a weird color and then the, it oxidizes would not look good on me. So I should probably be concerned about that. Um, so I'm going to swatch the shade I have. It has this really weird doe foot I saw people talking about. Let me show it because it has like this weird curve to it. I don't know if it's just, is it focused? Yeah, it's like, you see, it's like this weird curve. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's weird. But I think it's supposed to be able to get in, like, the utmost inner corner of the eye. And that's why it's that um, color. I'm going to swatch some of the newest concealers I have tried out just so you can get an idea of what color preference I have when it comes to a concealer. So, I'm going to swatch Patrick Stars next to it. And then I'm going to swatch the new online comb one. These are two that I've really been loving and using, like, regularly. So, I figured I should show those. 
and I guess they're in the same shade range as this one. I feel like this one is a little bit darker in tone though and a little more orange than the other two are but hopefully we can make it work i'm going to use the peach perfect um foundation from Too faced i haven't used it in forever but let's get started with this um primer real quick so this i found in macy's i mean not macy's she's uh, it squirted out this random amount and it literally just squirted out like that and then i stopped because i was like i don't know what's going on it looks really weird and it just I don't know. I'm not like informed of it. It's just based upon like feeling it. It felt really weird and came out in a chunk. So let's try it on my face. Oh, it feels a little cooling when you first put it on. I'm sorry if you can hear the people in the background more in their um, lawn. But a lot of people come once a week. I have to talk to my mom out. The lawn person coming to cut my grandma's lawn this week because while my mom was on vacation for two weeks, the guy didn't come and cut it. I got our lawn cut, but I didn't get my grandma's lawn cut because my mom talks to the guy and I talk to the guy who cuts our lawn, oddly enough. So, let's see. Do y'all think my skin is smooth? Let me see if I think my pores look smoother. Hold it, please. Um. I mean, I don't see too much of a difference in it. I mean, on this side I do, but it might probably is because I have the acne on here that I don't like, feel like I see a difference. But here I see a little bit of difference when it comes to the pores. Not like enough to be like truly overwhelmed or like excited, but I see some, which I guess is better than none. I did put the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base underneath my eyes. It's what I like to put when I start um, my makeup. So let's go ahead and put like one layer of foundation over it just so you all can see what the one layer of foundation will look like. Okay, um, the Patrick Star and the um, Laura Merce, the um, Lime Comb Concealer are already drying down, but as you can see, the, um, what is it, the um, ABH one still isn't, so I find that interesting. Y'all know I normally spot conceal, but I just didn't feel like it today, so I'm like, we're not doing it. I'm having a mask on for like a whole shift, pretty much, except when I eat lunch, so I mean, do we really need it? No, no, we don't, so I'm not going to wear that. I'm starting with this one pump, and I'm probably going to do the rest of my face off camera besides obviously the concealer I'm just trying to get y'all to um see how product applies over the um primer so I'm literally just gonna do the bottom half of my face with this half this one pump I did and then we'll worry about the rest but we want to see if it um puts foundation on smoothly and normally I would use a brush too but I was just too lazy to get up and get one so here we are okay now I'm gonna chill out we're just gonna go ahead with what I'm doing because you know it's too late we're already here. Let's see that. Okay, I don't feel like this foundation giving hardly any coverage. And I usually feel like it gives me more, but I usually like use a brush. And I usually start with two pumps instead of like, you know, one. So that could be it. Uh. I feel like it's not sticking into the pores on this side again because I have acne going on on this side. I feel like I don't really see a difference on this side like I do on this side so I think it's doing a little bit of something not like enough to where um I would like make it one of my regular primers I just stick to my touch with the liquid silk cameras or just the original silk cameras from my hydro grip because right now since it's like 90 degrees here in Chicago I'm more concerned about heat not necessarily smoothing my skin in the winter time I'll have to try it out some more and then maybe I like it more then but right now it's just like man so I'll come back when I get to the part about the concealer so I'll be right back girl okay okay Okay, y'all, so before we get into the concealer, I want to show you all the bronzer swatches while I'm thinking about it. So this is the ABH one. This is the ColourPop one. This is the Tower 28 Best, what is it, Best Coast Scenario. This is the Danessa Myers one. Look how deep that is. This is the NARS Casino one. Um, this is the Chanel one, as you can hardly tell it's there. I'm trying to remember what the last one is. I just got done swatching all these and I honestly don't remember what this one is. So, I'm going to have to think about what the last one is. I forgot, y'all. My bad. Anyway, let's get into this concealer. My face feels so dry with the foundation on, y'all. I swear. I don't know if it's because of that primer that we used underneath it. That's not helping with any hydration whatsoever. My face just feels dry, y'all. So, get the concealer. I'm still on this weird little, like, thing. But I think it's supposed to help get, like, right up in here. Like I'm doing now. i go with that front and back like you know with the seal nowadays and that one 
in the back. I was about to start doing the second part of concealing it isn't the way I normally do it, but sorry, I feel like I'm off center. Let me scoot over that. That's a little better. And then y'all know I conceal down the entire nose, but since again I have a mask, like it doesn't really matter. If I go all the way down the nose, it doesn't. No one's gonna see that part. It's it's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't know how I feel about the color of this concealer. I just feel like it's really orange. And for it to be supposed to be cool tone, I'm just I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's one you can leave sitting on very long because as you see I feel like it's starting to dry and we haven't had it on for like that long but I feel like it's already being like a little difficult to blend out and I haven't had it on for that long so I don't necessarily like that because y'all know I like to let my concealer sit for a little bit so the fact that I feel like this is um, drying really quick and I can't, I don't like that. That's just a personal preference thing like if you just put it on and then like blend it out really quickly then it should be fine for you but with that I felt like it was difficult to blend already when I was trying to just let it sit. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that whole situation. So I blend around the edges and then I'll probably pat it in with a sponge. And hopefully it won't be too late and it won't be like, too dry already. Really, because under the eyes, I don't feel like it's doing that. But I felt like when I was putting it on the middle of my nose, like the top of my, um, what do you call it, um, forehead, I felt like it was drying very quickly. So, I don't know what's going on with that, but okay. Uh, then drawn out. Yeah, my face was so dry, I swear. So, apparently you need to wear this, um, primer with a hydrating foundation. Or maybe just, like, prep your skin better or something, because... I have been out in the hot sun. I put on this primer and then I put on this matte, um, this comfort matte foundation. And mine just not to be like a true, like, matte. It's a comfort matte and my face feels like the Sahara Desert. It feels really tight and dry. So I don't recommend using this primer with, um, any matte foundations. Like, I feel like you need to put it with your hydrating ones and maybe that'll help. Or I might just use it in the wintertime because I'm not liking the fact that my face feels so damn dry. So we're on the second layer of concealer now. And the color isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I watched somebody else's review because she had it around the same time. Um, Angelica did the um, YouTuber that created the um, Club Nebula palette with Kaleidos. I um, happened to find somebody in my skin tone that made a video around the same time. So I just bought the shade based upon the shade she said. I forgot what her name is. I think it's o Okaya Page, I think it was. Or Okaya Tammy. Something like that. I don't exactly remember. My apologies. I try to remember to link it down below since her video was up like before mine, but I just don't remember what the name of her channel was. Anyway, let's get into the bronzer. So I'm going to take my Made by Mitchell brush. This is the MF1, so it's the Mitchell Face Brush 1. And we're going to go into this bronzer and bronze while I let the concealer sit a little bit because this is what I would normally do. So I figured we should stick to the normal routine, right? So that's how much I put on the brush. That's how much I put on the brush. Thank you. Um, I didn't do a lot. I think I dipped into it like three or four times. And now I'm going to like just try to blend it out. And mind you, I didn't dip into it much, but look how deep that is. So we're going to carry some up here too because I don't want that much deep much pigmentation on it. And it says it's blendable, so... It's looking quite blendable, so I will definitely agree with that sentiment. I'm trying to decide if we should put some on top of the face, too, after I get done, like, powdering my cheeks and all that to powder my face like I normally do. Because that's what I would normally do with a cream product. So I'm just dipping into it two, two or three times and do the same thing on the other side before we start concealing. But I actually really like how blendable and nice this is. And the funny thing is, I didn't even want to get this. I was like, mmm... I've got a million cream bronzers this year because this is the year of cream bronzers and just like bronzers being inclusive in general. Like this is the year of everybody want to be inclusive in bronzer. Self-sensation is forming with that damn Mean Girls collection because who the fuck is that bronzer? It ain't bronzer nobody look like me. 
but none of the stuff bronze anybody looks like me so i don't know why i'm surprised i'm gonna pull up on the south side how the hell you pull up on the south side can't nobody on the south side with your products get the hell about it if y'all can't tell i'm still irritated about that and um that was the video where i actually reviewed the patrick um star one size bronzer where i talked about how they tried to come for me in Trimble's comment section and how me being me we know damn well i wasn't happy um and then what they're saying tried to come to me in the comment section and again me being me we know damn well i wasn't happy and i did not and both of them backed off once i politely called it out so if you want to see that video i'll try to remember to link it up above but sister girl was not having it at all um so now let's see about blending this concealer because i did leave it on longer than we did the last one so i'm hoping it'll blend okay since this is a formula i had not tried before i don't know oh, okay it's still blending okay so i don't know what was going on with the part on top of my forehead and why i was acting like it didn't want to blend out because y'all saw like that part was kind of difficult to blend so i don't know why but i feel like it would whereas down here i feel like it's blendable like it was saying but up there it was I don't know, I was having a moment. Let's this up before it falls on the floor because I am clumsy. So the face is coming together pretty nicely. Like I said, the only thing I'm not liking is the primer because it just feels like it's sucking all the hydration out of my skin and I don't like that at all. Like, I just feel like it's sucking my face dry of any moisture I have. It makes me not want to, like, you know, spray my face to impress the powders in like I normally do just because my face don't feel so dry now. But, like, maybe with a hydrating one it'll help and it'll, like, work better. I don't know. But I'm just like, uh. So this is what we looking like. Let's go ahead and set it. I'm going to use my loose powder from um, Prime Beauty in the shade Golden Gal. I love this powder. It's like one of the best powders I tried this year. Honey, this is amazing. And look how nice it just set our under eye. Like, honey, look at that. Look how smooth it made the under eye look. Like they said, it is giving that second skin appearance, so right now I'm actually here for it. And I was like skeptical about the color when I first saw it. It's because on camera when I watched the other girl's video, it did look quite orange. But in person, it didn't look as orange compared to the other ones that I swatched on my hand and showed you all. So I'm happy about that. Sorry, y'all. If my alarm went off to tell me that it's 12 o'clock and I need to buy the ColourPop um, Tinkerbell collection. So I'll probably come back on camera to, um, and sh before I leave to show y'all how all this looks. I'm trying to decide if we should put it over top um, the powder or not. Um, I might, if I do, I will come back on camera and do that and put highlighter on with y'all. And then I will try to check in with y'all before I leave. I make no promises though, because I gotta do a funny thing. I gotta film the ColourPop like, Y2K collection literally after I get off making this video so I can um, get that done because I got the Glam Shop here and then I got Lois Cosmetics here that I need to film with on Friday. So I'm like, I'm gonna film this today film that on friday but let me um go off camera and finish this up buy my ABA, my my color pop stuff and i'll be right back okay 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 y'all i'm back it didn't take long to uh, go through the process of buying the tinkerbell collection i powdered my face while i was gone um i feel like i don't see enough bronzing in the skin for my personal liking so we're gonna go in again with it i didn't plan on doing that but since i don't feel like it's giving me what i wanted to give me i'm like we gonna bronze some up because I feel like I'm not seeing the bronze and once I put like the powder on top of my face I feel like the bronze and just disappeared and it's like no that's unacceptable I'm gonna stop seeing plus I want to see if this is buildable and since it's the way I would normally do my makeup I figure that's what we need to be doing because you know I'm not gonna wear it the way I wear it in this video the one time and I don't want to give you false information so I was like we just gonna go ahead and just do it the way I would normally do it now I don't normally do it with a brush like this small I usually do it with a bigger one so I don't know if that's like an make a difference i feel like it shouldn't because it's dispensing the product evenly it's blending out nicely as i just said it would so i'm not tripping um let's go ahead and sponge it 
a little bit right over here. I also feel like I put more on this side than I do on this side. Or maybe this side of my face is just has more darkness on it that makes the bronze look deeper than um, this side. Because, you know, when you drive, you, this is the side that shows. And it's usually like my face is usually darker on this side than it's on this side. So I'm feeling like that's what's going on with that. It's not necessarily the product, but, you know, it's fine, whatever. I'm going to just put on some blush and highlighter real quick while I'm here. This highlighter brush is the number two face brush. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight with the ABH Ice Out Highlighter. And it picked up quite a bit of product. But because the bristles are yellow, I think I didn't realize that it had picked up this much highlighter. So now I'm just going to try to like buff it in as best I can. And then y'all know I spray my face afterwards. And again, we're wearing masks. So nobody's going to see all of this awesome highlighter on my face or all of this awesome blush. And plus I'm expecting it to wear off through the day because I'll be sweating underneath my mask. That's another reason I kind of pack on a lot of product nowadays just because it's like... Go way off anyway, so I'm, you know, let's go ahead and pack it on. So when it wears off, hopefully I can still see some after my eight hour shift is over. Because I'm going to have to come back and check in with y'all and I'm going to have to like touch up. Because I don't like to touch up. Just because I'm like, you know, I want you to see what it really looks like at the end of the day. Not me having touched it up. The only thing I'll touch up is my lip because, you know, I feel like when you're coming on camera with nothing on the lips. I mean, you start off like that, but like when you end it, you're supposed to have some on your lips. So I feel like I'm supposed to end with something on the lips. Because, um, that's how I look when I give y'all the, um, tea before I leave. So, like I said, I'm hoping to film like some more videos today before I leave. I want to get like all the ColourPop, um, little mini five pan palettes done before I leave but I don't know how well that's gonna go because I still want to eat too before I leave and I gotta leave from my grandma's house which is far away than my house so I'm like I don't know how well any of this gonna go I've never left from here to do my like 3 30 shift that I do on Thursdays because I do 3 30 to 12 on Thursdays and then every other day I do 6 45 to like 3 15 in the morning so I'm normally like you know are we going? Try to check in with y'all before I leave. Lately, I've been bad at doing it, but I'm gonna try to check in with y'all before I leave. But let me zoom in one more time so you can see how all the face is looking. So this is what we looking like. We got on the ABH highlighter. We got on the ABH bronzer. Excuse me. We got on ABH concealer. Can you focus, please? Thank you. And I'm really feeling the concealer. I'm feeling the concealer more than the bronzer. I feel like the bronzer just like blends away to nothing when you add other products to the face. Or maybe, I, like I said, I'm not picking up enough product. I don't know. But it, I feel like it blends out to almost nothing. So, those are just my thoughts on it. But I will check in, try to check in with y'all before I leave. Okay? Okay. So, I've returned y'all after many hours of wear. I have on the same Milani lipstick. I just reapplied it. And it does look quite matter now. But that's because I don't have the um, Lime Crime lip gloss underneath my lips to, you know, give it that glossy feel that it had when I initially put it on. It doesn't feel dry. It feels like a comfortable matte lip random side note but we're here to talk about this concealer and this foundation so that's why i zoomed y'all in when i started off so as usual i've been looking at my face so i'm looking at it now like hmm i think this concealer wore like beautifully wore really nice i did have to reapply when i did my three eye looks today with the ColourPop um y2k collection but this is the just a glitch palette and i used the rumor has it with it to make this gorgeous eye look that i'm obsessed with y'all know these are my tones so i was just here for it i was all about it i was living my best y2k life with you know all of what's going on but um yeah i'm quite impressed with the concealer and the funny thing is i didn't expect the concealer to be anything the funny thing is i expect the bronze to be decent and it is nice it's just like i i don't know i feel like i have other bronzers that are more pigmented that give me more coverage i don't know if i'm gonna have to put like a powder bronze on top of this to get like the true bronziness i want because i feel like it's still not bronze enough like i don't know i like a deep bronze if you will so i'm not necessarily feeling how this is looking but you know i was mainly concerned about the concealer and i am pleasantly surprised because i'm telling y'all i had like to the ground low expectations of this concealer just because i don't like the new foundation they came out with when they had the older foundation i did like it but alas you know like that was when i wasn't that versed in makeup and trying it with the newer one i saw how bad it really was <laughs> and then not liking the new one and that was supposed to be their new reformulated better version but again i don't like the weird undertones that they use when it comes to stuff like this concealer i didn't like the weird undertone they gave and if somebody hadn't made a video i probably would have picked the wrong shade because i wouldn't have been thinking to pick a cool tone concealer because you know i have 
a golden yellow undertone and that's usually under warm not cool but whatever the point is the concealer worked really nice it's really amazing i am quite impressed with it i'm gonna wear it again tomorrow to test it out some more along with the bronze but i would say definitely check it out i'm actually quite impressed and very pleasantly surprised now it's not taking the place of my like lawn comb and my um one size from patrick star because those are like my holy grail ones right now but this is definitely going to be in the rotation just because it's really nice plus i got to give y'all a complexion corner on this one so i'll probably use this one more than the other two i just named even though the other two i just named are like some of my all-time favorite concealers that i have tried this year but yeah those are my thoughts oh on the primer i don't feel like my pores look hold hold please i feel like the pores on this side like i said i always felt like the pores on this side looked smoother than the pores on this side but again it's because i have all this acne going on right here i feel like i'm getting distracted by it but it did a good job of smoothing it's just it was really drying on the face i don't know if it's because i use this comfort matte foundation if you all remember maybe i need to use it with more hydrating foundation i'm gonna try it with the true skin tomorrow from catrice along with the abh concealer and see if that makes a difference but yeah um i'm quite impressed with the concealer and i think you should try it out try to get it in macy's though because right now they're having a 15 percent off sale i'm hoping the sale is still going on tomorrow when i um do the you know the video um when I, this video goes up tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. My verdict is still out on the bronze. I want to try to put a powder one on top of it instead of putting the cream on top of, like, uh, my foundation after I set it with um, powder. Even though it blended smoothly and just fine. So, if you want to do that, it works just fine. I just feel like I don't look bronze enough. And before, when I left, when I got done filming the video, I feel like I still didn't look bronze enough. So, it just ain't bronze enough for me. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.